Hello, this is Annalisa from Faith Dream Creek, and today I have a card for you showcasing the new scrapbook.com cut files, and this particular cut file is called Tis the Season, and as you can see here, there is cut files for cards, planners, and scrapbooking, and you could totally mix and match for any project. So for today's card, I'm using this tree background from the Tis the Season cut file. And I will also be using this Lawn Fun stamp set called Toboggan Together. And I will be using the Merry Christmas sentiment here for my card. So to adhere this cut file background to my card base, I am just using a basic glue stick to do that. And then once the background is in place, I will add a little bit of sparkle. Just lining it up here, making sure it fit on the card base. And then, as I said, I will be adding a little bit of sparkle. And to do that, I will be using the clear Wink of Stella pen. And I added it over the whole background, over the green, over the white, to just add that something extra. So there will be links down below in the description box to these cut files directly on scrapbook.com and to all the supplies I use. So if you are interested in checking this set out, definitely click the link down below and check it out. And there's also two more cut files that are coming to scrapbook.com in the next few weeks. So stay tuned to that. For that, I'll be having videos for those as well. And there will be some hashtags at the top as well that you can click on to link yourself to more videos with these awesome cut files and more great ideas. So once all the glitter was applied and I was happy with the coverage on that, I was ready to work on the sentiment. And this made for a super quick card, but still very elegant. So for the sentiment, I'm using the Merry Christmas, and I just grabbed out some Memento Tuxedo Black Ink, and then stamped it down. And just some white cardstock here, and then I will go ahead, once this is stamped, I will go ahead and use some embossing powder on there. So I end up using the Ranger Clear embossing powder, as you're going to see right here. And I just get that all covered so that I can heat set it with my heat tool. And by the way, I use the Marvi heat tool. The brand that's the brand that I use and you can also find that at scrapbook.com as well so just melting that embossing powder and giving it that braised shiny kind of look and then I will go ahead and cut this out kind of creating a banner for my card front and then once this was all cut down and ready to go onto the card, I also decided to use the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink again, just to add a little bit of outline to the edges of this banner that I had created and just make it stand out a little bit more on the card. I felt like it was getting lost with the sparkle and the green and the white, and so I wanted you to be able to read the sentiment. So this helped that a little bit, and then I was ready to adhere this banner to the card. And to do that, I will grab out the Advanced Tape Glider from Scotch, which is also available at scrapbook.com as well. And then this is pretty much going to finish off the card for today. So super simple. There is one more thing that I end up adding, and I grabbed out my 
Morning Dew Nouveau Drops to add a final touch and I added them over the little snow circle part on the cut file here and yeah I just love how this looked with the clear iridescent it just brings in those colors and just adds a little bit of extra and it looks really cool so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and check out those links below to scrapbook.com and these this new cut file called tis the season bye for now